Welcome back people to a fresh YouTube video. It's Monday morning. Sun's out, look at that. Nice and crisp. Uh, today's video, well, probably a couple of days. We're going to start by going to pick an 08 plate diesel Jaguar uh, X type or something to think it is. How Luke got it over the weekend. So we're going to go and get that first thing. And also show you this one I picked up. It's a No 7 Reg. 1.6 HDI Picasso. Still got MLT on it, it's off a good friend of mine. But I don't know if to sell it or use it or what. I'm still using mine. I just stuck 20 quid in that actually, diesel, so I'll be using that bugger. Paul's coming today for the Renault. Get rid of that old tub. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Talking about the 307 Andy's talk. Oh yeah, my friend Andy's got the free got a 307 of our offers as well. Forgot about that. So yeah, it's an old uh, diesel car. So we've been getting lately, innit? Diesels, yeah. That's right. The price of gone down. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go and get this jag now, we'll see you when we get there. Well people, here she is. A white plate diesel. I'm not sure. I don't know if they've brought one of these. I'll give them a bell light. It's the Monday, but Monday I'll engine this in it. Scrap. They say clutch is gone. It's just gone, just gone to the floor. Probably the slave cylinder this. Locking up. Oh, this is an hydraulic clutch. Customer turned up, but just as we got look like got it, we got it fixed. But customer has turned up anyway. It's right, we're gonna sort him out now and get it up before he changes his mind. So, right, guys, we're gonna get it on. Well, we're winching on now, guys. Same again, too much bloody wire on that. That'll do. That's one issue we've got to address very shortly. Hey up, hey up. Best man's mum's here. Get round, go on. You're going on YouTube. You're going on YouTube now. I've got him a car. He's always taking things off, but here. So yeah. Um, Luke, I was saying to, to people then we need to get this addressed. Let's do me, Eddie. Yeah, it's too much wire on it. What's uh, it's either that, or well, it's a bit of oil on it, and we winding back in properly, right back out and yeah, bring it in properly. We need some gloves on one at subscribe so can metal splinter stick out and get you. Do you reckon that'll pull you out of bed in the morning that winter, not? It's that, that moment, I don't know actually. It's <laughs> right. I'm gonna be po very happy today, I'm positive. We're gonna make some money. We're gonna go and pick Chrissy up now, Luke. Is he ready? Yeah, he's ready. It's 10 o'clock, but he's, he's ready now. He's been, he's been at dog house. Yeah, he's not getting four days' wage. He can have 10 fags and that's it. Right, guys, see you when you get back to mine. We're back behind Dean's anyway, so we'll have a quick look round there, get off the main road. You'll basically see just uh, have a quick look, take this off. Lipstick out. And you sound great, isn't it? Basically, a Mondeo under all this, under the uh, hidden stuff. Just a TDCR Mondeo engine, 2 litre, I think they are. I don't know if it's going to be one for the lads at Bax and Dunn, or it's one we just take straight into the yard. A weight plate. Not like I'm messing around with now. One second. Struggling to find it all there. <laughs> Cats, um original down there behind shield give it a quick route round and bounce it act Dean's just not falling to Alden's he's uh just sorted kitchen out for his house Captain. Any goodies 
Lucky we are not. Clipper. Have that. Thank you very much. 151,000. Just over a quarter tank of diesel in it. Lots of it coming out with Prater, isn't it? Just run out of test this thing. Um, I'll just turn that off. Turn that off. There's a bit of old books and a bit of mystery. One penny. The bloke's not had this long, he's only had it a couple of weeks. Take clutch pad over it right down to the floor. It might be some, some enough in that, you know. But there again. And they worth messing around trying to repair. Just have a look at back. Nothing. Nope. Leather, half leather. Tell a bit of a quite expensive car, this, I think, now. Space saver. Say now for a. Uh, who wants a good wax oil if it did go back up the road? Tow bar up. Oh, we'll have a good look at this, see what crack is with good tyres on it. So good tyres. 225 45 17. We'll see what happens with it. The diesel wants to be coming out more really. Right, we'll be back with you shortly. Well, we're going to pick a citron up now. Uh, Brother Dean's uh, been phone call for one. It's me, keep it bloody pot afloat. Oh, here we go. He's on one this morning, Monday morning. I think my dad might be well, he's trying to claim that jag. He's trying to swap it for his Monday anyway. Chris has finally turned, turned in. turned in. Is he, eh? Are you alright, Chris? Yeah, I'm... Do you need anyone to talk to or anything like that? Are you okay? No, just my mate, Dean. He's not your mate, he's told me. <laughs> and what section are we going, Dean? C3. A C3, <laughs> diesel or petrol? No, no. You're guessing the colour of what? Do you, do you know, I know it? it? Oh, well, me and, come in, Chris. No, it's red. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! I spoiled it already. <laughs> right, we'll get there. See you soon. Things should be coming out with, with it now. He's reversing it out of the Are you driving it back? How are you doing? Are you driving it back? Are you old filming to coming out of the truck? Oh, sounds like he's in the mood this morning, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's wind him up a bit more then. See how stressed we can get him. Yeah, he's stressed. He's stressed, yeah. I'm gonna wind him up a bit more, I think. Hey! These years, that sports fans. We're saying he's a bit stressed this morning, but no. we're just gonna wind him up, you know what I mean? I don't get stressed at work. Stress is a good salad, but. Oh, oh, so he's stressed. So he's stressed, Chris. You mad at your dad, I forgive you. <laughs> citron power, citron breakers. Are you, is he still always a cat? Right boys and girls, we've rung John up and he's, uh, he wants this car, so we're on his way over there now. He owes us a couple of cats, so we're going to get them took and brought back as well. Thanks everyone for the birthday wishes on the yeah, Luke, yeah, Luke wants to thank everyone. And a few comments for uh, Chris Ed being a bit Drunk over the week last week. And then we're calling me as well. We're not liking only fools and horses. Yeah. One of Cass's dad and they passed away. Yeah, Boyce's dad as well. Poor bugger. Um, what, we're gonna, what else we're going to say? Yeah, appreciate everyone subscribing as well. Keep smashing that like button. We're, we're nearly at uh, 6,000 now, which is good. We never expected that for just two down to earth scrap lads. Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> but yeah, keep, keep smashing that like button. And uh, keep enjoying the videos, guys. We're going to do a, you mentioned we might get his friend to see if he can do a bit of fun yeah. building. Yeah, my friend Billy's going to do us a bit of editing on this video. We'll see what we can do. He's going to learn me how to do bits and bats. <laughs> you know, so um, 
hopefully you might like this video with a bit of a, a bit of a twist it might have an intro in it i'm not sure we'll see what we can find but we'll uh, see you when we're getting this car took off over there well i've just dean's gone racing his pigeons so i've spent half an hour and see it what parked on there is now on the truck he had a full tank of petrol in so i've used an hammer and spark i didn't want to drill it i seen one on facebook the other day which went up in flames so i weren't risking that with any sparks so don't mind with the diesels so don't go up as quick but uh petrol's a bit a bit flambo really so i've done it with uh, an hammer and a brass spike so that's that sorted i got a uh, three quarter of the tank from the aventus and i put a tank of uh, a jerry cans with a fuel but stilly so from now on i'm going to drain every car really just play out to feel silly and like i say we've not been going through that many cars these last few weeks it's not been mega busy so help we get now i'm going to drain so that's the end of monday morning we'll be back with you tomorrow see you soon right guys we're back it's tuesday now we didn't film from yesterday since we got back from john's i looks so it winched this uh see you tom got an aftermarket on it it's took the petrol out for his car <coughs> so that's ready to go to the yard it's open chris here um i thought i'd show you this what we've bought millennium van used to was a camper van keys here bud um 52 plate silver lucky windows and all that <coughs> i do if we're doing a bit of bits and bats in it luke Bits and bats, we'll get some in it. We've got a few bits and bats for you uh, scrappers who keep commenting. More like Dean's pigeon boss. Yeah. That's but it, it was it was um, a bit of a self-made camper van, a bit of a bit crap out. really, weren't it? But saved we've, timber though. We've saved the timber. And all the craps here is going to escape what's no good. Trusty Picasso again, earning its keep. So hopefully, might be a bit some bats video for, for the rest of this video. I'm not sure yet. But as you can see, it's done 150,000 like, but it's a cheap old bus. Good you. We'll get some scrapping for you guys, eh? Right. We'll see you back when we're getting it loaded. Well, we're just pulled into EMR now, Blackburn's going on to Weybridge. Got the old seat on the drain the petrol out of. Busy in here today. Big old piles of steel in there. And them old pallets we used to get off that steel company, but there's some over there, but I think they're going back now at price of timber. So right, I'll get this weighed off and I'll let you know where we go. Well it's weird to see it in, that's gone, it had an aftermarket on it. Uh the, one of the yard managers there, Jordan, he said, Yeah, you can have these, the dead sound of him. Thought they were going back, but they're not, so I'm gonna strip these and they'll do finishing bits of stud work at that house in Acton. Maybe for his next project with price of timber. So I'm not going to turn them out. Bloke on stacker who usually takes them. He said if you bring me twisted ones back and just chop them into eight inch lengths for his uh, log burner and bring them back for him, it'll stack them up for me all the time. So happy days. That's me sorted. Happy day. So we've got this QR code now. We're going to get that scanned to get Dean to scan that in. I think he's got tip with Picasso. We old, old bed out of that old transit. That's that sorted. New lads on the end of life vehicles in here because other lads have ducked and haven't turned in, so they're a bit short on staff. But anyhow, all right, we'll come get this sorted. Well, people, we're out in the transit now. Where our Luke's just stopped at this local car wash. It got flagged down over there saying that there's some scrap here, some some old washing or something. I don't know, machine or something. So he's just gone to ask him if it's still there. We've got a washing machine just to pick up just up Paddy and Road here. We've got an engine in the back and a few other bits and bats. Uh, so we're going to try and get this filmed for you guys today. Get a bit more different content for once. But instead of doing the cars. So we'll wait for our to come back and we'll get it filmed. Well the yeah. What's it called? Car wash we're all good. We roll. It's a lot of crap. We've just got to wash it pick up off his mate Lee. Show you in the back. Couple of bed frames, that Fiesta Aini Alley engine, a few other bits. Let's chuck it in, Chris. Hey, man. Nice and tight down the side of there. <coughs> Not a bad van, really. It's only a 52 Reg. But it do its work. 
for the money we'll give for it. It's right enough. Um, yeah, we pulled all the crap out of it this morning. Went to the skips, as you seen earlier. No good to us, full of that carpet and stuff, off the floor. It's going to get stuck and wedged under all scrap and whatever we chuck it back. Not just for scrap, it's men. We are right for doing, picking building materials up as well for house, which is his main focus. Chuckle Brothers now to carry this down the drive. It's your title. <laughs> Grab it now and get it in. First washing machine in the back of the van. First one. We're not we're not motors out in a minute, eh? Yeah. We'll just get it out of the way. Boys and girls, right on to the next one. Snail, save the snail, save the snail. Right, let's go for tomorrow. More people, just at my brother's house. We've got another couple of cookers, a little uh, small built in one, and a freestanding oven. Just give me a bit of lead and a brass table. The top steel, that bit, the angle iron steel, but that's brass. So that'll be getting stripped off. The only thing with these small vans, you do fill them very quickly and they get uh, clogged up with. Like they say, them chairs and stuff, so it takes a lot of good stacking, really. But if we can try and get two or three van loads like this every day, you know, with half a ton in or something each load, it soon mounts up, it jobs a good one. Right, I'm just gonna go and get some more about Jimmy's house, so get some more scrap. That's what we like, guys. Another two cookers off the back streets, cleaning the Brit Britain streets up there, out yeah. and getting a bit of money for it every now and again, it jobs a good one. Oh, there's more getting chucked out now. Vat frames, overs, anything. Right, we're gonna have to uh, get this van stacked properly and get this stuff off our loop. See you shortly, guys. Well, we still have little silver up quite quick. She's we all cloggy load in the back. It's washers and cookers and stuff like that. With that iron alley engine, so we're gonna go and weigh this off now, and then go and hopefully get another bit of a load. Yeah, isn't it? so get a fresh load then. Fresh load, load again. Stacked. She's not like big blue, you can't stand up and you can't stack loads in her, but it'll be alright, still making a bit of money. Both cars are a little bit quiet. So we're gonna have um, a good route round up. Bits of waste ground at back street shortly. We'll get all that on camera for you. See you soon. Well guys, that's the first load in the transit gone. As you can see, empty. We got £107 for that load. Uh, we got £45 for the engine and engine and gearbox as I Alley. £45 for the scrap metal itself at £125 a ton, a bit crap really, the price there, where we went to. Um, so that's 90 quid. Then we had 10 kilos of lead at a le £1.10 a kilo and a couple of kilo of brass. It worked out at £107 altogether, which is not a bad one, considering that it were a stack rubbish and it weren't a full load. So a couple more of them every day and we'll be right, we'll be right. Luke's just nipped in the house to get the pallet stripper. Pallet stripper. Put them Real big pallets you got. Wood. Free timber, you can't, get it, can't beat it can you? Not this brass. <laughs> no, not the brasses. Chris had just gone to look in a skip rock corner so he's seen something in there. So, oh, there's we'll some we'll metal there. We'll see what he finds. See you soon. Well guys, oh, Luke and Chris have stripped the wood. The pallets of wood as you can see. I went out around the corner and picked a bit of scrap up. Ended up getting here with a full order of radiators and heavy and some old Frames and stuff, so I'm gonna go to the scrap yard now and empty this because me and Chris are going to stop both out with Chris. Yeah, we are boys. Yeah, get a fridge freezer picked up for house, saving money. Cheers. We've got a few batteries to go and weigh in as well, haven't we? Over there, is it two or three or something? You put two in. I've uh, put one in. Is there's, there's another one over there, I think. Is there? I'll grab another one now. Yeah, and then uh, that's gonna be it for today, so we'll see what we'll get for this load and I'll be back with you. Well, then, folks, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this one. Did a bit of street scrapping. Like I say, a few of you wanted to watch that. I'm just going to go down my allotment now and sort my pigeons out. 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button yeah comment and like them and even share them to facebook or wherever but keep getting us up to that uh, 6,000 subscribers we're not far off now thank you see you on the next one guys